today. It's the last day, uh, and it, it were the last days of the final event of Debate at Chirp, where the most active debaters, which are you all here, of the Debate at Chirp um, uh, program. So congratulations that you were selected to fly into the Netherlands or to came with your train here to Amsterdam. Are you ready? More? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. One. Yes, yes. Are you ready? Come Two. on, come on. And four. All right. Now, this is the motion. This house would ban far-right parties from competing in elections in European countries. Well, thank you very much. Far-right parties are not, are not there only to represent people, are there to actually tell people that they should exclude minorities from the society, that minorities are actually not there, that they, are, they don't have the right to be in the society. Far-right parties are only the instrument that people who have this kind of ideas use in order to feel represented, are only the instrument to uh, diminish the tensions between these people and minorities. What is the European, what is the, the idea of European Union? It's to drive from nationalism towards multinationalism and to drive from intolerance and tension towards tolerance and inclusion. To show people who this person is, we have to ridicule them, we have to show that he's an idiot, he's stupid, we don't want these people, these ideas are wrong. If you thought about those ideas at home, you are wrong, that's stupid, that is not what we want the society to look like. We, we have to show and ridicule. These people need to express themselves in some way, because the alternative to being represented is going out on the streets and protesting. That's why I beg you to oppose this motion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, great pleasure to be with you here because also not only uh, to see such wonderful, young, bright, enthusi enthusiastic minds, but also to feel your thrill because I'm myself a former debater. But in the end, we decided unanimously, and I'm very sure you're your champions from Closing Prop. Congratulations. Woo! Well done. In many ways, um, 2014 European elections will be a key battleground for European debate. Either we lose Europe or we win it back. Have a divide between democratic institutions, between the political parties that are engaged in them and the decision makers against the citizens who feel disenchanted, who feel their voice is not being heard, they are not being respected, um, or they are simply thrown out by the complexity of the decision making processes that exist today change can come a lot easier in the world and that would actually come from youngsters for the youngsters I mean I, I would propose that every and each one of you when you're going back home you would go to the places where people do not have access to debate and things like that and you would tell them a bit what democracy is you would help them understand what you have learned because I think that role models are the most efficient way of making people believing that they can do of making people want to do something you cannot start equal opportunities at this position we need somehow to bring Roma to an equal start in order to have equal opportunities. And this is the only solution to, towards tolerant and coexistence and, and, I don't know, living together. If we put, uh, if we keep doing this politics that the European Union is proposing, if we give them special rights, special needs, build them special schools, this will never come, the solution will never come. They will still be segregated from the society and they will never be integrated and accepted by the majority. What in the case when the Roma people don't want to go to work, don't want to go to school, if um, they have so many social advantages that um, they don't want to work and so on? Yes, there are lots of Roma who do not want to work. There are lots of Roma who do not send their kids to school. And you need to address the incentives those guys have. And I can explain to you. So if you are illiterate, and you grew up as an illit illiterate, and you, work, and you stay in a ghetto like the ghettos I'm working in, you have absolutely no incentive to start working for, 400, for 100 euros per month. So the Beta Your project has contributed, and we have seen it yesterday, to academic skills of young people to think, reflect, and debate in a constructive way of all complex issues about Europe. And this contributed also to improved mutual understanding between the young citizens of Europe.